There's something coming. There's a new car on the horizon. It's coming very slowly. It makes a noise. It has kittens painted all over it with a new kind of fur, cleaner, but with a unique smell. Yet, one of these kittens is not prepared to have a good time. It stands alone, away from the crowd. It's your kind of kitten. Now the time has come to climb into that car and to shake the paw of destiny. No. No, they might be giants or not Satanists. They are not posing as an easy listening Nazi rock band trying to lure intellectuals into believing what they already know to be true. No, listen to the sound of my voice. Put away your big blue cigars and make way. Yes, make way ladies and gentlemen for they might be giants. I'm deaf. I'm listening to the radio. Up the driveway, down the walk. Oh, Jenny's hair is like a mom's. Who's got her own but acts like something's different from the eyebrows up. Seems like only yesterday. Oh, G-I-V-O-R-C. I love you both and you'll tie this pure H-E-double-L for me. And we just go nuts at Christmas time. That's when everything falls apart. We just go nuts at Christmas time. But it's another year before we're together again. Hi, this is John of They Might Be Giants, and you're listening to the Frank O'Toole Radio Show on WFMU. If you're driving in your car right now, we urge you to sit back, relax, close your eyes, and drive really fast. We just go nuts at Christmas time. That's when everything falls apart. We just go nuts at Christmas time. But it's another year before we're together again. Frank O'Toole, WFMU, Mother Rock, with They Might Be Giants, because you understand rock. I've got a weak heart and I don't get around 
reflection over an overture And do I need a pot to be teeny Who's got shot? Don't, don't, don't let star This is the wise part To believe for all the world You're my precious little girl But don't, don't, don't let star I've got a weak heart And I don't get around How you get around people, right? Yes. And then it says another child is born in India every time you call this number, right? Yeah, right. Does that make any sense to you? No, it doesn't make no sense. But, and the guy that spoke, I don't know who he is. Yeah. But that's, but it doesn't sound like no answering machine, right? No, it ain't an answering machine because they're not saying anything. They just... But what does he get, how does he make money on this? Whatever he's advertising in the paper. That's this the part that don't make no sense. Oh, he's advertising this in the paper, you saw it. In the Village Voice, yeah. They got a, That's where the KISS clinic, but they give you another number if you want to join it. Then I got uh, intellectuals meet with other intellectuals yeah. to speak another language. Yeah. Oh. They meet at La, Ma La Masonette restaurant. They give you the price. Then they give... Does he, do you see any sense to that? There may be giants. 
that reco that recording I have on the new one. Did you hear it? I changed it. I took off the intellectuals. I put on there maybe giants. What? Who's they maybe giants? What are you talking about? That's what's on my the phone there maybe. <coughs> well, I can't explain it because I don't know what it is. Look in the paper. Don't blame me if the guys are nuts. Hey. Frank O'Toole, WFMU, Mother Rock, with They Might Be Giants, because you understand rock.
for joining us on this historic occasion. I'm your host, P.H. Wolverine, and tonight a very large crowd has gathered here in your home in anticipation of a special performance by They Might Be Giants. They Might Be Giants are going to be playing their songs live over their dial-a-song telephone line, direct from the brand new Opry House in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm now going to call 718-387-6962 and connect you all with the boys, already set up on stage in Nashville. Boys, there's a very anxious crowd waiting here, wishing they could catch a glimpse of the band, but knowing in their hearts they can't. How does it feel to be among the first white men to ever set foot in Nashville to perform the first pan-global phone concert over the airwaves? Wonderful, PH. We're really pleased to be here. No, no, please isn't the word. We're honored. We're very honored. No, not honored. Honored isn't a word at all. Uh, what language am I speaking? Hello? Hello? John and John, I hear you've got a song for us. What's the name of the song? The song we're really going to play is called Number Three, and it goes like this. There's only two songs in me, and I just wrote the third. Don't know where I got inspiration or how I wrote the words Spent my whole life just digging up my music's shallow grave For the two songs in me and the third one I just made A rich man once told me, hey, life's a funny thing A poor man once told me that he can't afford to speak Now I'm in the middle like a bird without a beat Cause there's just two songs in me and I just wrote the third Don't know where I got the inspiration or how I wrote the words Spent my whole life just digging up my music's shallow grid For the two songs in me and the third one I just made So I went to the president and I asked old what's his name Has he ever gotten writer's block or something like the same? He just started talking like he was on TV If there's just two songs in your boy, what do you want from me? So I bought myself some denim pants and a silver guitar But I politely told the ladies, you'll still have to call me sir Cause I have to keep my self-respect, I'll never be a star Since there's just two songs in me And this is number three You're listening to They Might Be Giants live from Nashville. Let's return now to the stage where John and John are about to emerge from their automobile. Thank you. Thank you all. You know, it's been a long journey for both of us, packing all of our instruments and amplifiers into the bus, driving onto the stage of the brand new Opry, pulling up to the phone and getting out. But you've all made it seem so worthwhile. This song we're about to do is dedicated to each and every one of you, all the people who made it happen. Sally Fields, Sally Jesse Raphael, Sally Struthers, Sally from Peanuts. This song goes out to all of you, and it's called Cowtown. I'm going down to Cowtown, cows friend to me. Lives beneath the ocean, and that's where I will be beneath the waves. The waves, and that's where I will be. I'm gonna see the cow beneath the sea The yellow Roosevelt Avenue leap overturn The ardor of our boreality is an adventure we have It's a new leaf over time. 
We're back in the studio, and I'm Doris Cunningham with They Might Be Giants, John Flansburg and John Linnell. John's a friend of mine, Eleanor Summers from the AP Wire Service, told me you two live like pigs. Is this true? <laughs> it, it's funny you say that, because a lot of people have said the same thing. <laughs> I, I guess it's true. <laughs> It's funny you say that, because a lot of people have said the same thing. Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> John and John, I know you're sitting on the cutting edge of the music world. Tell us what you think about some of the bands coming out of England. Yeah, we're into uh, King, Tears for Fears, Duran Duran. Right. Frankie, Spandau Ballet. You two, Everything But the Girl. Mm -hmm. How oh. Howard Jones. All the, all the English mm -hmm. bands, Paul Young, mm -hmm. Wham. George Michaels is an incredible guitar player and really has oh, been a strong yeah. influence. I don't know, Thomas Dolby, of course. Uh, Nick Howard, Sting, um, Dead or Alive. Oh, incredible records. I mean, the songs are Eng so powerful. I think England is, is where it's, it's I th happening. I think it's really all going to start for us in England. Mm. Wow. Tell me, John and John. How do you like doing live radio? A lot of people have compared the band, They Might Be Giants, to Germany in the 30s. What do you think of it? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> heavy, heavy. <laughs> you sometimes think about wearing long, long hair. Is that a statement? have another song for us. Would you like to perform it? What's the name of the song? Oh, I think I know that one. Great, great. Everything right is wrong again, just like in the long, long trailer. All the dishes got broken and the car kept driving and nobody would stop to save her. Wake me when it's over, touch my face Tell me every word has been erased Don't you want to know the reason why the cover's not appealing? Don't you get the feeling that everything that's right is wrong again? You're a weasel, overcome with pain Weasel overcome, but not before the damage done The healing doesn't stop the feeling Everything right is wrong again Just like in the long, long trailer all the dishes got broken and the car kept driving And nobody would stop to save her And now the song is over now And now the song is over now And now the song is over now The song is over now Everything right is wrong again Every movement falls Every fall is lost again Not before the damn 
do that again. Uh, we should do. Identify yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, we're the. <laughs> okay. You want to sing the identification? Yeah. Hi, uh, this is John. <laughs> Just say where they went. I will they might be giants. Start again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We get better at this as it goes along. By the end, it'll sound just like a song. Okay. Um, this is the one. This is one for you, Frank. This is the one you gotta. You use. gotta play this one. Okay. I will they might be giants on WFMU 91.1 East Orange, New Jersey. Frank goes to show. In Scario! Boo! Show! 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 Frank! Oh! Jewel! Show! Show! Kill my dog, and I don't think it's fair. And a suicide can be justified by the test like this, how they cried and cried. So, no, no, no. Back like a demon. No, no. I used to write his favorite songs. No, no. And I never would have heard it. No, no. He just tried to fetch the ball. It must be raining because a man is supposed to cry. I'll get an 
I don't see a cloud. It must be raining, because a man is supposed to cry. But I look up and I don't see a cloud. Okay, okay, settle down, everyone, okay, please, please. All right, it's showtime, everyone. Listen, I've got a story to tell. When I first accepted the job as personal manager and stylist for They Might Be Giants, the boys said, Mario, integrity is everything. You keep the money. We'll live on love. The love we have for sophisticated, head-bobbing music. But I told them, you guys are gonna have to change everything. Flansburg, you need new clothes. That fringe jacket and platform shoes thing is completely out. And Linnell, shave the beard and get yourself a hair transplant. Maybe an accordion would be good. I don't know. Boy, were those guys mad at me. But it's all water under the bridge now. I'll tell you, my boys have crossed over with a look and sound all my own. I guess you could say I made them, but I like to think I simply own them. Ladies and gentlemen, my boys, the only band that refuses to be a force to be reckoned with. Those twin quasars of rock, let's have a warm round of applause for They Might Be Giants! Yeah. 
about 20 years. Weren't you the guy in that band, They Might Be Giants, that I was in? No. But so, where have you been keeping yourself? Well, mostly I've been on non-commercial radio. You mean Franco Tool Show on WFMU? Yeah. Well, that's not very interesting, but well, tell me, John, what I think you've been thinking is more interesting. You mean what's been going through my mind while I've been on Franco Tool Show? Yeah, I suppose. Well, I've been thinking mostly about this big show we're doing at the Village Gate next Saturday night, March 7th. Two shows, 9 o'clock and midnight. That's right. That's what you've been thinking. You know, it's only 7.50 to get in to the Village Gate, which is a large jazz establishment that we've never played at before. Well, I'll be sure and go check us out. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. I hope so. Better be. Be pretty embarrassing if it wasn't. I know. I think Frank would be especially mad. Remember, that's the Village Gate on March 7th, Saturday night, and we're playing two shows at 9 o'clock and midnight. They might be giants. Tickets available at the door. Yeah, and, and other places, like the box office. Okay, 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 We're only doing one big show, but it's Saturday night, and we're asking everyone in your listening audience to come because we need people to be at this place that holds 450 people, known as the Village Gate, this Saturday night, 9 and midnight. And uh, it's, it's a really good deal. It, we're really crossing over into a whole new jazz experience that everyone's going to enjoy. There was once a show there called Let My People Come, by the way. I'm serious. Uh, really? Earl Wilson Jr. wrote it. Really? That's as trivial as you could get. <laughs> you know your trivia, Frank. Welcome to the wacky world of WFMU, guys. John and John. And Bill, the silent partner. Bill is here, too. Without Bill, these guys wouldn't be here. Am I correct? the silent partners. Aha, I'd be talking to dead mics. We were talking to dead mics earlier. Um, that was a band, by the way. Never mind. What did we hear? Uh, the last thing was called Avalanche Roadblock. And that's parentheses. the original phone version. If people are listening, it's probably a good time to, like... Avalanche Roadblock? I thought that's it was correct. called Snowball in Hell. Actually, it is called Snowball in Hell. 
I was a snowball in hell, but... But we, I like to call it... Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay. Before that, we heard uh, It's Not My Birthday, also the original phone machine version. Not the version that doesn't exist on our album. And, and then before that, we heard a song that I can't hardly remember. Oh. So long ago. Yeah, but it was on the phone today. We have a dial song service. Actually, people probably don't even know what we're talking about, so we should clarify that we have a, we are They Might Be Giants, which is like a rock band, and we have a dial song service. We love you like a rock band. Well, it, it, it feels like a rock band often. But uh, the dial song is 718-387-6962, and that has a new song every day. If you look in the Village Voice, you can find the number in the club section in an ad for the band. Uh, they I might wasn't be paying chance. attention. What was that? 718 what? 718-387-6962 is the number for dial song. The first time you guys were on, we, we must have given the phone number about 15 times. <laughs> well, and somebody called up later and said that when he was listening, we left off the last number. Every time. But that was an S as in <laughs> savings. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um, so you guys Aren't are playing. Aren't you Robert Merrill of the Daryl yeah. Hanna School? <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are playing at the Village Gate. Who are you playing with? Pharaoh Sanders? <laughs> Joseph Latina? Yeah, 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 you're a quarterback. Pharaoh is going to be sitting in on bass. He's going to be sitting on the bass. On, on those 88s. No, uh, a performance group called Watchface, who are actually exceptionally interesting, are going to be opening for us there. And. Um, there's going to be a special appearance by Frida, the Swedish... ABBA? Well, sort of like ABBA. No, but is Frida from ABBA? It's not the exact same Frida from ABBA, <laughs> it's, but it's a very similar... dressed as it's Frida. A, it's a very similar Frida from ABBA. Okay. This is... Uh, They're both from Sweden. What a coincidence. They are both from Sweden. And um, so it's, it's a, a power-packed evening of entertainment happening at the Village Gate. At 9 and midnight. 9 and midnight are two shows, two completely different shows. They're going to push everyone out at 10.30 and make way for everyone, or at 11 or whatever. They, yeah, they have thugs? No, they don't have thugs. They no, have actually, thugs. it's going to be... No, thugs. It's, it's, it, they have the thugs. Right. No, it's, it's going to be um, heavy drinking, and uh, everyone gets to sit down. It's a really good deal. No drink minimum. Bring your parents. Wow. Is it expensive? It costs seven fifty to get in. Oh, we weren't supposed to give the price. Why not? Oops. Sorry. Oh, the little light is the flashing light on. We're not commercial. Yeah, well, that's the light. The money. Oh, really? Is that you is that mistakes. is that what determines commerciality? Is saying how much it costs? I'm guessing. Huh. <laughs> okay. No, the light is going. I'm supposed to get an electric shock from the light, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> you've, you've found a way to disconnect it. Um, there was another question I wanted to ask. Oh, do you two still live like pigs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just wanted to clear that. How, how about you? Still living like a pig? Well, I scratch every now and then. Scratch. <laughs> um, we're going to have you guys play live shortly. And uh, in the meantime, we'll go back to this tape here. Is that Okay, yeah. This, this tape is... Well, we could play some stuff off the record, which is more the slick rock show stuff. The tape is really more Oops, for so alternative. You, you know what's really funny? That's not what's really funny about that is, is that the record's not queued up. Yeah, so we better go back to the that tape. Good an idea. Yeah, so this is uh, this is uh, this is the a little bit of the esoteric side of They Might Be Giants. I believe this next song is called Mr. Claw, but I'm not sure. Oh. So you might well, well, let the tape run. Let's see, make sure that Somebody everything is happening. Somebody give the ID. It's five uh, before eleven. This right. is uh, Frank O'Toole's show on WFMU. What are those numbers? Ninety-one point one. Ninety-one point one. That's good enough. East Orange. East Orange, New Jersey. Try not to yawn. How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> A talking claw. A, a 
unless unless that law is the is the famous the famous unless that claw is the famous Mr. Claw. Giants. We're happy to be here on the radio. This song is called The Sun is a Massive Incandescent Gas and we'll be performing it live at the Village Gate this Saturday night along with a lot of other songs with a more rock-oriented feel. But anyway, enough of that. This is the song called The, the Sun is, is a, a Mass, mass of, of Incandescent Gas. <laughs> Yo-ho, it's hot 
into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot. It is so hot that everything on it is a gas. Aluminum, copper, andria, sue, and iron. The sun is large. If the sun were hollow, a million Earths would fit inside. And yet, it is only a medium-sized star. The sun is far away. About 93 million miles away. That's why it looks so small. But even when it's out of sight, the sun shines night and day. We need its heat. We need its light. You know, Frank, scientists have found that the sun is a huge atom-smashing machine. The heat and light from the sun are caused by the nuclear reaction between hydrogen and you, Frank O'Toole. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear They might be giants on the Franco Tool Show, WFMU, Progressive Radio, because it has to be. So we'd like to do another number now. Uh, I guess. I, I believe. Because, oh, we have to, Frank is giving us the roll with it sign. So anyway, uh, shall we do another song that's not on our record, um, entitled They Might Be Giants? But what are we going to do? Uh, do you want to do When It Rains It Snows? We're going to do a song now called When It Rains It Snows that sort of a personal song for John and I. Hold on a second. I have to tie my shoe! Okay, so uh, this is When It Rains It Snows by They Might Be Giants. There's a knock on the door that I adore There's a face at the window, a smile And if I were at home, they'd find me there. There's a note on the door that I would see, and the furniture's barely been moved from where it was. There's a note on the door, and the note would say, When it rains, it snows. There's a nut with a shotgun, bang, bang, bang. There's a doctor, a waitress, a fireman with a hat. There's a nut with a gun. There's enough so they'll never know which one. When it rains, it snows. I Can we stop now? We're feeling a little bit tired. Oh, okay. Well, let's play a record. song off the record so people will know that we know how to do slick music. 
Okay, we're it's segue time at, here at WFMU. Uh, let's play the record. You can play the record. And uh, we are playing at the Village Gate in a couple of days. Um, we should be rehearsing, but we're on the radio instead, promoting the show. So we'd like to thank you all for listening. We're back on the air with Frank O'Toole. This is John Flansburg of They Might Be Giants. And this is John Linnell, still out in the hall. Did you get that, Frank? Yes. Good. Okay, well, we are in separate places, and that's to remind you that we are performing live at the Village Gate on the 7th. We won't mention the price of $7.50 because this is non-commercial radio, but we have, a, we have a special tape. We're actually playing a lot of obscure stuff. Usually we like to keep it kind of mainstream AOR rock with kind of a heavy metal beast bent to it. We were on SOU last night and uh, and we wait got, a minute, we had wait some a minute. serious headbangers calling up going You were on K Rock on Sunday, SOU last night, Joe Franklin last night. Where's the exclusivity of it all? But Frank, this is the only show that we do IDs for. Oh, all right, all right. As long as there is something different about this. And also, this. this is really the only show that we feel kind of relaxed on. And that's, <laughs> that's a very special feeling for us. Get moving! Okay, okay. All right, all right. Vince Nelson's show was pretty relaxed. What was that, John? I thought Vin's show was pretty relaxed, too. Yeah, Vin's show was pretty relaxed on K-Rock. Vin is really um, taking on the rock establishment there in Manhattan with his show. It's a pretty cool show. Before I forget, I guess I should mention, before you guys get into the music again, live music, um, we're going to give away two pair. Is it two pair or two? Three pairs. Three pairs. Three pairs. Three pairs. That's six. That's six people. Where's that other guy coming from? I thought we got rid of him. Yeah, no, we did. We um, dished him in the hallway, but he stole one of the mics. He's tied to the microphone. Oh, God. What a wa you mean he's got a long, 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 long wire? Yep. Like a long, long, long trailer? Enough, long enough to reach the ground. <laughs> Uh, it's ten, 10 minutes past 11 o'clock, by the way. WFMU 91.1. Frank O'Toole here with They Might Be Giants, who are playing Saturday night at the Village Gate this Saturday. And after they are done, we will give away the three pair. But you have to be able to identify what today is. Maybe, maybe you should be Catholic. I don't. It doesn't matter. But uh, we have to make you think. It's 11:11. Back to live music. And, and what is today, Frank? And now if I tell you, they'll hear it. Okay, we're, we're going to have to introduce this song. This song might be a clue for people wondering what, what today's, the importance of today is. This song is not featured on our record. It's a special song that John likes to do just by himself, and it's called Kiss Me, Son of God. So I usually do this one when the guitar string breaks. Yeah. And uh, this... right now, the guitar string has not broken. So I, I guess you all understand what I mean by that. Uh, okay, I'm going to do the song now. What's the story, John? Oh, do it slow. He wants me to do it slowly. Okay. I built a little empire out of some crazy garbage called the blood of the exploited working class but they've overcome their shyness now they're calling me your highness and the world screams kiss me son of god i destroyed a bond of friendship and respect between the only people left who'd even look me in the eye now I laugh and make a fortune off the same ones that I tortured and the world screams, kiss me, son of God. I look like Jesus, so they say, they love this at SOU, but Mr. Jesus is very far away. Now you're the only one here who can tell me if it's true that you love me. And Frank, I love me, I built a little empire out of some crazy garbage called the blood of the exploited working class. But they've overcome the shyness, now they're calling me your highness, and the world screams, kiss me, son of God. Oh, 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 
bring, bring it up. We're back to Esoterica from They Might Be Giants. This is off our dial song service. The number is 718-387-6962, the kind of radio that you like to hear, WFMU. This is, this is, this is Franco 2! Franco Tool! Rock Radio, Rock Radio, Rock Radio. Franco Tool on WFMU. Non-commercial radio with no commercial interruptions. It's a special guest. They might be giants. I steal a little bottle and shake my shaky hand. Black coffee's not enough for me. I need a better friend. One pill. I know I must investigate I hope that I can sing along There's no time for metaphors Cry the little pill to me I need to get some shut-eye I wish that you could let me be Shaky hand Black coffee's not enough for me I need a better friend One pill at the bottom Is singing my favorite song I know I must investigate I hope that I can sing along Last still, little bottle Last still Last still, little bottle Last still In a spacecraft sighted Flying high above the sky Sirens declare there's one among us From Venus Volunteers, we need volunteers Soldiers to meet them Have no fear, have no fear You will be killed right away I will date the girl from Venus Flowers die and so will I I will kiss the girl from Venus for science. I'm so brave, I'm so brave, I'll be her love slave. He's so brave, he's so brave, he'll be her love slave forever. I will date the girl from Venus, flowers die and so will I. Yes, I will kiss the girl from Venus for science. They might be giants. What? We're back. We're, we're back. We're back. So I have to apologize for the quality of that tape there at the end. I didn't realize that I was using such cheap tape. But um, anyway, you guys are going to get a reputation for that. Is is John still out yeah, the there? Room? You got John on the mic. Still tied to the microphone. Is is John still out there? We we really enjoyed your sh being on your show, Frank. I enjoyed having you, John and John and Bill. Bill so are you going to be going to the gate and getting part of this uh, big ticket giveaway? Uh, You're number one. I'm on holding out. List. I might go to late. I might go late. The late, the uh, I, I three o'clock show. I want to know about the comparison with Germany in the 30s, but we don't really have time for that right now. So why don't you give the information on uh, okay. Saturday night? One, one last time, we are playing at the Village Gate, which is a legendary jazz club in the heart of Greenwich Village, located on Bleecker and Thompson. We're doing two big shows, um, one at 9 o'clock. And one at midnight, we're performing with a group called Watchface, who are really, really good. And uh, it costs money to get in. You have to be over 21, so be sure to bring fake ID. We and really need ooh. people to come to this show. It's very what? important for our career. Oh, what yeah. career? <laughs> our up, up and coming career in rock music. You guys won't make it, as far as I'm concerned, until I see you on Soul Train. Well. You know, We're I, depending on you to get us on, Frank. Yeah, Frank, we, we wanted to talk to you about the, the money involved in getting us on Soul Train. Yeah, well, me and Don Cornelius, you know, we're yeah. like that. The sound that. the sound that made it happen. Frank O'Toole and Don Cornelius. That's right. They get us confused all the time. 
All right. Uh, we're going to give away three pair of tickets, and you have to identify what today means. Oh, the date on that show. Just Saturday. Is Saturday. Okay. Saturday. What is the date know. on Saturday? The 7th. March You've 7th. You've had to think about that, I noticed. I'm not it's too secure with your, machine. with your time, are you? How can you see him think? <laughs> I smelled wood burning. <laughs> WFMU 91.1. Thank you. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Thank you. They might be giants for stopping down. Thanks here. a lot for having us on the show, Frank. We'll see you Saturday night. It's always a pleasure to be on this show. Same here. Fade out here. Here? There? Yeah, quick, quick! I'm, I'm, fade out! I, I'm faded! Oh, okay. Stop the tape now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, that wasn't live? Oh, that was They Might Be Giants. And uh, both of you are here. Well, John and John. FMU, House of Rock. Second house of... Second home. Second house. The other house of rock. The other house is where your parents live. So it's great to be back, Frank. The magic is back here at WFMU, and we're bad. I was thinking of you guys the other night as I watched the uh, the Giants play football, the Super Bowl champs. Really? Yeah, they got their they asses got ripped. And I, I kept thinking, they might be, they should be. But somehow... They aren't. No. They were pretenders. You guys are the real thing. Right on. Got that right, Frank. I'm, I'm raising my fist in the air. It's too bad you can't see it. Uh, you can't even smell it. The magic, the magic of radio. All right. What was the name of that last song we just heard? That was called "Where Your Eyes Don't Go." Where you released your... anywhere, only available on the radio. Where your eyes don't go. Phone. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's going to turn up somehow. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's kind Actually, of, uh, yeah. kind of uh, that, that noir sound. That whole like, yeah. <laughs> Kind of uh, the fourth man thing. Right. Um, you guys are playing. Uh, <laughs> you're always playing, but this is very special. Yes. Um, a couple of weeks in a row. We're doing wanna... four Fridays in a row at the Village Gate. Starting this Friday, uh, we're doing with it, with the Ordinaires performing with us. And, um, yeah, we're doing shows at the Village Gate at 9 and midnight. And Two shows each Friday two night. Two shows each Friday night. Date night. Bring your friends. It's a big, big thing. That's right. You guys don't care about gender or, or cross-section or cross-dressing, for that matter, I heard. You like everyone. No, that, that's You guys not, played the pyramid. Yep. <laughs> there's, there's nothing wrong with the pyramid. I didn't say there was. I'm not making a value judgment here. I'm just sort of... I'm, I'm using that as a, uh, as a point of reference. So, you know, people who ordinarily wouldn't go out to shows might want to go out to see you guys play. Yes. Um, speaking of playing, this is a catchy way to uh, slip into this. You guys have another thing happening here, a live thing. We have a microphone up here. Sure do. And don't be distracted by what I'm doing here. No, no, no. I'm okay, constantly right, yeah. flipping through paperwork. Yeah, we're just trying to think. What, what exactly are you doing, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> I had some catchy, uh, clever questions that I was uh -huh. going to ask you, but... Uh, this is like flashbacks it's to the Joe Franklin man. show here. <laughs> what, what, what is that, where's that piece of We paper? have, uh, <laughs> is he dead yet? What do you think of They Might Be Giants? No. <laughs> so you guys want to do a song? Sure. Yeah. Go sure. ahead. Let's let's close this door because there's all this noise coming from, like the from alternative, right. the alternative radio station out here. All this noise. The Rude from Boys. Hi, we're on the radio. We are. They might be giants. We'd like to thank you all for listening to the radio. Um, what song are we gonna do? Uh, uh, I wanna I wanna first of all dedicate this to Glenn's wife Elizabeth, who's at home, bumming out. Ah. Oh. Is this am I loud enough from this? Kind of psychedelics. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, not that kind of bumming out. No, no, no. 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 She's just, she's just a little sad. And we thought we'd cheer her up with a little Elizabeth, giant's magic. Elizabeth. New feel, Jersey. Feel better about everything. I didn't know that. Why is she bumming out? I don't know. So, um, what song? Let's, let's <laughs> it's do. It's none of anybody's business, let's actually. Do, uh, <laughs> let's let's fly? do this song. Oh, you want to do birds fly? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is how it goes. Birds fly into my windshield and cats dance under my feet. This good luck charm hanging off of my arm was left here by the police. Words fall out from my pockets and cats dance under my feet. This colorful spell under which I live protects me from all I write. Uh, 
and the microscope reveals the scope of my very best intentions. Yes, the tiny light shines twice as bright on the only nice part of me. I cast this under my feet This good luck charm hanging off of my arm Was left here by the police And the microscope reveals the scope Of my very best intentions Oh yes, the tiny light shines twice as bright On the only nice part of me Frank O'Toole is back. I was holding my breath there uh, as you were holding that note. Yeah. How are you able to do that in a smoke-filled room? Circular breathing. Rasan. Rasan. Rasan yeah. and on. So they don't call me a disc jockey for nothing, you know. So um, shall we give away these tickets to the first 300 callers? You want to give away to the first 300 callers? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, giving away tickets. Say goodbye to your career. We're, we're, we're giving away tickets to... Uh, <laughs> To the Village Gate this Friday night. They might be giants. Nine o'clock and midnight with uh, the ordinaires. With the ordinaires performing first at nine and midnight. We're going on at around ten and one. Um, so and we're going to be giving away free tickets to the first three hundred callers here. And who's going to introduce you Friday night? Mr. Joe Franklin, very the king, impressive, the king of men. So, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, isn't there something like <laughs> some kind of laughter in the background or something? No, no. no. But no. there's it's <laughs> only yours. Man. I'm a white boy. I can't uh, get into the rhythms. What can I say? So, so uh, uh, what is the num What is the number here to call for the? the first? Well, after well, after we start the next song, I think we'll start taking calls. Is that, is that what we should that do? That was it? a bad move right there. So yeah, it's going to be the phones are. Angry. Well, we we are we are going to give tickets to the person who's calling right now and the next two hundred. No, you keep calls. saying that you're going to be held to it. I swear. We are. We are. So, um, no, I don't uh, want to encourage 300 people to call up. We are giving away three pair. Three pair. Three pair. Three, pair. three times two equals so, six. Okay. Six so times. So if you are the 300th caller here at WFMU, you will be the lucky recipient of those three pairs. I, I've already counted about 298 yeah. calls in the, last two, <laughs> in the last minute and a half. So what is, what is the number here on, on the... Uh, 201. Actually, we should, we should just say that um, if you know the number, then you deserve the tickets. So let's just see how that works, because there are enough people out there that call in all the huh. time for these kinds of That's things. That's not really and democratic. If, if this doesn't work, I guess oh, I think everyone it's will know, because then we'll be giving out the number. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. You have to, you know, that's not even, it's a calculated risk here, and I think, uh, I don't think we're in for a letdown on this. Okay. WFMU is the radio station. They Might Be Giants are the two guys, the, the band, and they will be playing uh, four successive Fridays starting this Friday at the Village Gate. Uh, the area code is 201. The station is WFMU. And the call letters are 91.1. Uh, we're going to go back to some tapes, and then we'll start picking up the phones, and uh, we will take the first three. Or you want to go the first, the third, and the fifth? A fifth? Where, where's, the, where's the fifth? The fifth is under the table. But I, right. can't, I can't deal with it until we're done here. FCC rules, you know. All right, we have a tape here queued up. What do we have on this tape, John? Uh, this is the new uh, remix of Don't Let's Start, which we're releasing as a 12-inch maxi single, along with three other alternative songs on the B-side, which we'll be uh, debuting here as their second live airing anywhere. Are they on the same tape here? They're all on that tape, right? They all have like five seconds in between them or ten seconds in between. We can come back and go. No more callers. <laughs> <laughs> we have the answer. We have Thank the winner. You. Okay. Uh, 1043, 17 before 11 o'clock, WFMU. They might be giants, and don't let's start. <laughs> You're back. FMU, the rock hole. The rock hole? Or we rock hole. We don't just win. We're the war hole. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't just say disparaging remarks about the day. Uh, we were going to do another song, Frank. What do you think about that? I'm impressed. 
Okay, this What was uh, the name of the last song? Where the Replacements by yeah. They Might Be Giants. Yes. Well, actually, the song is just called Where the Replacements. And oh, okay. But I, it was just to clarify things for people who didn't understand. You never know. People get their vices and verses mixed up there. Right. So this next song is called... Uh, Shoehorn with Teeth. Shoehorn with Teeth. It's brand new. It's, it's actually never been performed in public. And uh, we're a little bit scared about that. Uh, what, we don't know relax, to, fellas. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can remember what, what? she is. Okay. <laughs> you want a shoe? Okay. Right. Two. Okay. Three, um, four. We have to clap our hands while we're playing this one. Like this. All right. One, yeah. two. Three. He wants a shoehorn, the kind with teeth. People should get beat up for stating their beliefs. He wants a shoehorn, the kind with teeth. Cause he knows there's no such thing Ask a girl if they can both sit in a chair But he doesn't get nervous, she's not really there He wants a shoehorn, the kind with teeth Cause he knows there's no such thing Tour the world in a heavy metal band But they run out of gas, the plane can never land He wants a shoehorn, the kind with teeth People should get beat up for stating their beliefs. He wants a shoehorn, the guy with teeth. Cause he knows there's no such thing. What's the sense of ever thinking about the tomb when you're much too busy returning to the womb? He wants a shoehorn, the guy with teeth. People should get beat up for stating their beliefs. He wants a shoehorn, the guy with teeth. Cause he knows there's no such thing. Leave it to me to clap after the song is over. You wanted the clapping during the song. Oh man, where is were that going to be a crowd pleaser? Is that like something we can anticipate? Right. Like, uh, or a big, big bummer. What's what? <laughs> well, we're not sure. We're not sure. We're, we we actually have a, a accompanying track that sort of makes it a little bit more impressive when we do it in the show. So I just gave you more of a level. You're talking uh -huh, about right, being impressive good. during the show. Yeah. Um, this is kind of Speaking like, of being impressive during the show, what is the song that you do now that I think Put Your Hand Inside the Puppet Head? Is uh -huh. that the one where you get everybody to uh to put their to hands. scream? No, that's no, no. that's Hideaway Folk Family. Hideaway okay. The ballad. Forget I brought it up. Go ahead. It's all right. Did you want to talk about that song? Frank? Which one? Actually no, I wanted to know your opinion of the Bork nomination. Bork. Well I Or guess. is it pork? I'm not sure. Kosher. Let's keep it uh, clean. Well, we've, we've got a song uh, on our upcoming record called... The Bork Nomination. The, it's called, uh, it's the Bork Must Die, Kill Bork Polka. Although that's Whew. not the next song we've got up on tape. Why beat around the bush? Why don't you get to the point? <laughs> so uh, we're wondering if there's any FCC rule against saying things like, Kill Bork, Bork Must Die on the radio. Do you know anything about that? I don't think it's very nice to say that about anyone, friends or enemies. Hey. Maybe maim, not kill. Touché. That hurt, but we deserved it. <laughs> You'll burn. We'll all burn, Frank. <laughs> so Not me, I'm going show. to heaven. Because <laughs> I'm in hell right now. No? <laughs> so, let that one go. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, uh, we've got some more stuff from Testify. our upcoming, upcoming uh, tentacle uh, single here. <laughs> Dental we've we'll got this 12-inch uh, oh, yeah. single. Material. Do you want to play? Oh, you want to go back to the tape? Yeah. What, what do you let's, think? Let's go to the tape. I mean, it's, it's a okay nutty idea. Me. You know. I'm all for going with the flow. You know. Yeah, this, right. this song is called "When It Rains, It Snows," and uh, I wonder. It's got a long, silent intro. WFMU 91.1. There's a knock at the door that I adore. There's a face at the window, a smiling yellow face. There's a knock at the door, and if I were at home, they'd find me there. We're kissing ourselves here at FMU. Hey, it's 1054, and I don't hear you. Now I do. Go ahead. Okay, uh, this next song is uh, the famous Kill Bork, Bork Must Die polka. Oh, you worked it out, eh? No, actually, uh, on BAI, we were on WBAI this morning. John, you look demented standing there that way. I just want you to know you look like you want to follow through on the title of the song, okay? What? With, the, with this uh, melodica here? Well, you're standing you're there as if that? it's a weapon. My Uzi melodica? Your Uzi melodica. <laughs> now, we were on WBAI this morning, and, and uh, I guess probably a lot of your listeners wonder what, what it would be like to be on WBAI, like what kind of questions they would ask. 
And because uh, uh, you never know who's listening to WBAI right. to know what the revolution is up to. Right. Can you say WBAI? Um, I did. What do you mean? There's no problem with saying WBAI. Okay. Hey, I think we're, the real we're, there's they're, more they're our sister station. Really? Well, kind of. Uh, we're not related, but you know, you, sister you look alike. Sisterhood. Right. Huh. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah. so uh, it's 5 before 11, by the way, uh, WFMU East Orange, 91.1. We come to you from the Uppsala College campus, Frank O'Toole, here with They Might Be Giants. Okay, so this, this next song is uh, called The Famous Polka, and it's on our upcoming it's on this tape. Single, yeah. single on Bar None Records that will be out at the end of this month. Uh, the A-side is Don't Let's Start, which we actually made a very rockin' video to that'll be out soon, directed by a guy named Adam Bernstein, who is one, one big fella to be reckoned with in the rock video world. So Is that true? Yeah. He's or is he just tall? No, no, oh. he's a... Uh, big all around. He's big all around. Okay, so we're ready for the song. Yeah. Famous polka, take one. Ah, Segway. You know, this is, I think, the slickest I'm right here. appearance we've done on this show. The slickest? Easily. Uh, I would say the sickest, but... I have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bad joke. <laughs> all right, all right. The famous polka. Didn't it once have another name? Uh, it actually, it had a more... It had the, the phone inside a ribcage polka, which is sort of a more sensational title back when we were trying to, like, garner a little bit more attention. So we'd get a record contract, but now that we are successfully signed to a major up-and-coming independent record label, bar none records, we can sort of relax a little bit. And uh, you can relax for now, but since you made that statement about the Bork nomination, it's <laughs> all over. You're on shaky ground uh, I know. politically. Well, you know, you can really feel the groundswell of the public opinion about Bork. It's, re it's really happening for him. You know, people are really rallying behind him like a new American hero. I'd like to know, what's the deal on that beard? I don't know. Is it me? <laughs> uh, or does the guy look weird? Uh, he, he looks like some kind of demented monk. He looks like Captain Ahab or something, you right? Know? I don't know. Just Jeez. say no. Yeah, I mean, it, it, sometimes I think that it's me, that maybe it's my perception of, of reality. Uh, it's all those years of listening to BAI, I think. I never yeah. listened to BAI. You never listened to BAI? I know. We've got some great talk just, shows on BAI. BAI. I think, did, we, did I hear about them before? Yes. No. 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 This is not BAI, by the way. Oops. Especially at one minute before 11 o'clock, we should identify again that this is WFMU. You, the beard critical station. <laughs> critical beards all around. 91.1, we come to you from the Uppsala College campus in East Orange. And, oh, I wanted to ask you, you guys are going on a world tour. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? We're going... Going to the world. We're going all over Europe. And we're going to Japan, and uh, we're going around the United States as well, but we don't know where. But around it. Japan. Japan. That ought to Maybe be Iceland as well. The record company says if we want to play in Iceland, we can. Would Going from Japan to Iceland, that would be like island hopping. Yeah, it would, <laughs> it would be a very sophisticated leap. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, but I imagine, is it going to be uh, you know, a major tour of Japan? Like, will you be like catching up behind Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Sort of the clean up bad crew, you know. That's right. I'm wondering too, by the way, um, will it be cool to like the Michael Jackson album in, in, in light of the fact that no one likes it? <laughs> I, I think it already is cool. But we were going to say how much we liked it just so people would think we were cool. All right, remember that. They might be giants like Michael Jackson's latest album. Yeah. Bad. Okay, they're on record and tape. Li Liberian that. girl. What a cut. <laughs> Killer. It's a gorilla. <laughs> but, you know, it is kind of strange that everybody hates him now. Well, it's purely cosmetic, probably. Um, I don't know. The record's Stalin, isn't it? Stalin. Stalin. St Stalin. I heard he's kind of a uh, socialist, but I don't know how far he goes with that. Bad jokes abound. Anyway, it's time for me to, to thank you for coming down here. 